Needless to say, I played zero games, throwing that baby in my cart and checking the hell out. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning viewer or subscriber, if you're new here, I am Wilma Case and I do videos on luxury, fashion, lifestyle, and travel. If any of that interests you, I promise you're gonna love it here and I would love for you to join our family. You can do so by clicking that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every single time I load new videos. The luxury gods have been so good to me in recent months or in the past year, because most of these things that I've been sharing with you guys in these last few videos, have been from a while ago. It's no question that the Gucci Marmot sandals have long been on my wish list and I was unable to source them. So my mind just started saying, look for other avenues, you know, to find a black sandal with gold accents to, to sort of scratch that itch. I have nothing like that in my collection. I have tons of Izmir sandals, Antigua sandals from Hermes, as you guys know. And I just wanted something really classy, a little bit upscale, possibly able to wear like to a nice dinner at night, like on vacation or something that was leather, black and had gold. I don't know, black and gold just takes it up a notch for me. When I was Googling black sandals, the first sandal that came up was the Tom Ford Brighton sandal. Now this sandal I have seen on few celebrities. Primarily, I cannot remember his la his name, but I will leave his name below. Nene Leakes was dating a gentleman who I was a huge fan of his style. He dressed impeccable. Um, and I would always see him wearing the Tom Ford Brighton sandals. And when I first saw the sandals years ago, I looked at the price point and I was like, absolutely not. Not when Hermes sandals, at the time I started buying Hermes sandals, they were $7.10, $6.99. And I believe the Tom Fords at that time were $9.99. And not saying that Hermes is here and Tom Ford is here, but I just felt like the space that I was in buying luxury sandals, I just was not dropping $1,000 on a pair of sandals. So they just went out of my mind and I never thought about them again. And then I came here one day to YouTube to look up a video and there's only one guy who has a video just unboxing them. That's like, I think two minutes long. And I said, why are these not widely popular like the Izmir for men or Iran sandals for women by Hermes or some other brands? So I said, you know what? Let me Google a pair of black Brighton sandals. The first thing that popped up was in this box, okay? And on Google, the price said $3.99. $3.99, and I was just like, there's no way. And as I laser focused in on the website that it was about to link me to, it was far fetched. This is not a sponsored video, and I'm sure that we have seen all of our favorite influencers talk about far fetch. But for those of you guys who have never heard of Farfetch, I will let you guys know it is an online marketplace that serves, I think, about 50 countries. And basically, it's a place for you to buy beauty and luxury products. And you guys, there's all of these stores that are associated with, with Farfetch. So, McKayson Manor over in Italy may have the Gucci Marmont sandals or the Tom Ford Brighton sandals on sale for $3.99 while Neiman Marcus still has them for $8.99 or $9.99. So it's this beautiful like oasis of luxury. You can have a wish list. They can send you alerts when some of your wish list items go on sale. I don't know how. All this stuff went out of my, like, I, I don't know how I never ever shopped on Farfetch before, but I have woken up from my sleep and I will be using Farfetch in the future. I think that just like my go-to for like most things, I'm kind of like a pre-love consumer. I just always go to Fashion File. And yes, I purchase from other places, obviously from directly from the boutique, but I just never thought to look into Farfetch. Like I know I'm getting old because the thought, like when I would see people's videos, I'm like, oh, it's too much. I don't have time to, to, to reconnect with a new brand or a new website and figure out how to do it. Like I, I felt really old, but that 399 shook up my youth. I was like, I don't care how old you feel, you are, you're buying these sandals from this website. So the irony is, and you guys know that I believe in signs, when I clicked the website, I said to myself, it says $3.99, but I'm gonna click on, the link is gonna open up, and the size I need is not gonna be $3.99, and everything else is going to be full price or, or you know, more than 
Lo and behold, I clicked on the website. The only size that was $3.99 was mine. Thank you very much. <laughs> Needless to say, I played zero games, throwing that baby in my cart and checking the hell out. So a few days later, it was very quick shipping from Farfetch. This beautiful package arrived in my package room downstairs. I opened this already just to make sure that everything was like cool last, a few months ago, last year I even think. Um, but this is, I have not opened them since. I brought these to go on vacation last year. I never took them on vacation and never wore them after that because it was winter, fall, spring. Um, so looking at these again right now is going to be like me unboxing them for the first time and I'm so, so excited. For those of you guys who do not know, Tom Ford did come from Gucci. He served as their creative director from 2004, I'm sorry, from 1994 to 2004. And we know since he left Gucci, he's been leaving an indelible mark in fashion. But I will say, I don't know what kind of patents or anything he had when he was there. I don't know, you know, I, I'm saying all this to say, there's a lot of similarities between the packaging of these these actual sandals and the packaging of Gucci, Gucci's past and Gucci sandals, which I will show you in a minute. But when you open the box, it does say Farfetch up top. And this is the box that the sandals came in. I love this sage green color. To know me is to know that I am a sage green, eucalyptus green, hunter green. I love green, especially money green. This is how they came wrapped in plastic and it does have the barcode on the plastic right there and now i really close these back up pretty tightly so when you take them out of the plastic that's what it looks like and so it's just this textured box textured green box with a black trim white rectangular or square that says tom ford just so elegantly in the middle I thought that this was like the Gucci box, but it's not. So this is the Gucci box, this is the Tom Ford box. I think that they just sort of enlarged the white space here and reduced it on here. But both boxes have the same lined texture. I'm just saying, I think that it's quite interesting that they both have, It's they're like ribbed boxes. I don't know if other shoe boxes are made like that, but it's just interesting to me that the Gucci boxes and the Tom Ford boxes have sort of the same composition. At any rate, this is what the sticker looks like on the front. It says leather, ornament, zamak, including other leather details, made in Italy. It gives you the color black and the barcode for the sandals and shiny interior to the box. And I'm so excited. I have not seen these in months. So this is how they came. They were wrapped like baby Jesus in swaddling clothes, okay? Here is sandal number one. Oh, I forgot, you guys. These dust bags are top tier, like top tier. It's like a microfiber. Would you expect anything less from Tom Ford? So this is what they look like. They package them individually. That's a close up of what the bag looks like with a little draw string at the top and here they are you guys Woo. these are even better than i remembered them oh my gosh i'm absolutely in love with them so these are the tom ford brighton sandals in black with the gold let me take the tissue paper out this is what they look like really really luxurious beautiful beautiful Sandals, nice soft calfskin leather sole with the TF that just sort of works with like the thong uh, composition of the sandal. And I, what I love about these is that it's like, and I hate to say the whole if you know, you know thing, but it's like if you know, you know. If I was to see these on somebody, like they don't scream, you know, designer. It just looks like it's like a little bar that goes with, like I said, the thong composition of the sandal. It does say Tom Ford made in Italy right here on the heel portion of the sole. And the bottom, the traction on the bottom here is really subtle. My Izmir sandals by Hermes, I thought that because they're suede, they're like suede on the bottom, they're, they're very, very soft when you get them. 
but, and I and like you slip on floors and everything. And I say, oh, like once I wear them on vacation, cause they're typically for me vacation sounds. Once I wear them out, you know, on the resort, they'll get a little gritty and I won't slip. That is not the case. They get gritty, but they're still, the minute you walk on the lobby floor or and you get in your room and the floor is smooth, a smooth, cold surface, you are slipping and sliding sometimes. But I love that the Tom Fords, as well as my Gucci's, um, they have this sort of rubber sole to give you a little bit of traction. And I really, really do love that. And maybe that's the difference, right? Maybe I was saying before, like, why are these so much more expensive than like the Hermes sandals, what you think Hermes is supposed to be like creme de la creme. But I don't know, maybe just going the extra mile and putting like a rubber sole for traction. I have no idea. I picked these up in a size nine and I was a little apprehensive initially because I have never purchased anything from Tom Ford as far as footwear is concerned. And I know, I figured the sizing would be similar to Gucci and in Gucci, I'm like a nine, nine and a half. So, in sandals. So I got the nine and they fit really, perfect fit, absolutely perfect fit. I really have to say that I thought that these from my memory were very similar to the Gucci's. And I mean, it's a thong sandal. It's a leather thong sandal. How much different can you get? But I will show you the difference between these and the Gucci one. So I brought out three to show you. This is the Gucci Web. This is the black leather pair and this is the Tom Ford. I will say that Gucci sole, rubber sole is a little bit thicker. So it's got a little bit more room for traction. But overall, they're very, very similar. You know, they're very sleek. I will say that the leather upper portion of the Tom Ford is a little bit thicker and it does have two layers of leather here versus just this strap on the Gucci. So I, the Tom Fords do feel a bit more substantial. Also this front lip here, I think it, it gives it a little bit more reinforcement as opposed to the Gucci, it just kind of goes down. And these usually scare me. Um, I always feel like these are gonna pop off, but I have these, had these for a few years and have had no issues with these sandals. So that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to do a quick reveal of my sandals. We're about to go on vacation, I keep saying that. And I figured I was gonna take these out because I didn't use them last summer. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna rock these babies. And then I realized I never even showed them to you guys. And there's no videos on YouTube about these that really kind of give you a really good idea of them. If you have any questions about them, drop it in the comment section below. If you want me to do like a review on these after I've worn them a little bit, definitely drop me a comment below. Let me know what's on your feet this summer. Are you rocking luxury, thong, high-end sandals? I'd love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.